In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear good people, it is Monday, uh, the 30th day of May. As I said, the end of something heralds the beginning of something. So the end of the month of May, we open the door for two things to enter in. One, that uh, the new month of June will enter in. But more importantly, the 31 days journey for our married women as they intercede for their husbands. This is one of the journeys I love most because it is a journey that is done out of love. And I think this will be our, th our third one. It is a journey that our married women are reminded that a special a special privilege for a married woman is to pray for her husband. Even those of you who are in pain, come together. I gave you a secret in the Holy Rosary. Let us come together and pray for these gentlemen. Dear men, as your wives pray for you, please join us. Remember you are the priest in the house. Remember you are her spiritual mentor. Remember, you are her theological protector. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, that one we shall have. We'll do devotions on that for 31 days. Can't wait. Okay. Now, eh, we are still on spiritual development. And today, I want to share with you the seven things that we need to do for us to grow spiritually. Seven things that we must do for us to grow spiritually. Number one, truly participating in the holy sacrifice of mass. Truly participating. Not just appearing. We can appear for mass or truly participate. Spiritually, we are there. Mentally, we are there. Emotionally, we are there. Physically, we are there. Now, that means true participation in the sacrifice of Holy Mass. I know. I know you know. There was a time you went for Mass. Mass started. Mass ended and you got nothing. Your body was in church for that mass. Nothing else was engaged. Nothing else. We cannot grow spiritually if our work is to appear for mass. Maybe you are even in, in choir. Maybe you are, you are even the one who makes the announcements. But you went to church to make the announcement, to be seen. Father CKE came today to announce. Mr. So-and-so just announced. You just showed up because you are in the choir to come and sing for the audience. Uh-huh. You just came because the TCW that is serving. You just came because the CMA that is on duty. Sometimes you only come because you want to be seen. Others, I, I want to go because I'm dropping my children. Uh-huh. Others, you go because you are a leader and you want to be seen. So you appeared for mass. You did not truly participate. Dear good people, always ask yourself, today, did I truly participate in holy mass or did I just appear? You appeared dressed in beautiful choir uniform. You appeared dressed in beautiful CWA uniform. You appeared dressed in immaculate white shirt and a tie for the CMA. You appeared dressed elegantly because, after all, you are the, um, the leader. And at some point, you go and make announcements or just be seen. You are a big man. Uh -huh. You are a big woman. Mm -hmm. You went for mass. You appeared. 
and they'll say, yes, we saw Father C.K., but spiritually, Father C.K. never went to church. Emotionally, Father C.K. never went to church. Psychologically, Father C.K. never went to, went to church, but physically, he appeared. <laughs> ha! Number two, take advantage of the sacrament of holy confession. Take advantage of the sacrament of holy reconciliation. This is for the Catholics, and it is important that you get it. One great gift that the sacrament of holy reconciliation gives us is the gift of humility. With the gift of humility, we accept when we are wrong. We acknowledge that we are wrong, and we go for forgiveness. Number two, we also accept to be corrected whenever we are in the wrong. Nothing as powerful as this sacrament. To a Christian who approaches the sacrament as a way of encountering Christ, who comes and wipes away our sins. There's a short prayer that is said during this sacrament. May the Almighty God who gave us his son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to come and wipe away our sins and the sins of the world. May he wipe away all your sins and make you truly his. Aha. Uh -huh. Truly his. That's a prayer during confession. How I would pray that all of you can be hearing that prayer every time you go for the sacrament of holy reconciliation. Number three, develop a life of prayer. Develop a life of prayer. On this, I would want to re recommend a certain book. The title of the book is Praying Constantly, Bringing Your Faith to Life. It is written by Father Groschel. 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 That's the author of this book. If you can get it, the better. If you can get it. Try to look at it at Amazon. I have not checked in Amazon, but this book is so available. Those of you who are in Nairobi, go to any Catholic bookshop. You'll get them. I think you, you even get them in textbook centers. If you enter into any Catholic bookshop, you get this book. Just Google. You can even look at them at my page uh, for the CK online bookshop. You get it there. I'm sure you will. It is available at Amazon. So. This is how the book looks like. You didn't know that it is. Uh, I hope our cameras can be able to show you this book. Uh, it is like this. You find it uh, praying constantly, uh, bringing your faith to life. Uh, it's a nice. It's a very nice book. Very nice book. Please, if you can, get a copy. If you can, get a copy. Number five, encounter Christ in the Scriptures. Another way of growing in faith is encountering Christ in the scriptures. And I have said this a million times. Because we are living in very weird times when we want to become, we want to be saved, but we don't want to take any sacrifice. Nothing. We just want to be happy and meet Jesus one day. Not possible. Biblical literacy is a requirement. Sin qua non in faith development. If you didn't know, now you know number six. Learn from those who came before us, the communion of saints. Mm -hmm. And so many others who are our spiritual masters. That is why we talk about a spiritual director. Please get somebody who can guide you. Read about spiritual giants, men and women, who went before us, but were, and they remain influencers in our spiritual life. Finally, improve our relationship with others. That is important. We cannot take pride in knowing God, but we fight everybody who comes into our space. It has never worked that way. So, we are finished. Those are the seven ways of how to, to grow in our faith. So from there now, 
we'll continue in this faith series from tomorrow. Tomorrow we shall do the pillars that can help us to grow in our Catholic faith. Uh, this, this, I will specifically speak to Catholics, specifically, the 10 pillars, specifically to Catholics. And I'm sure whatever I'll share uh, to the Catholics, it also ap uh, applies to others. But there are some areas I know there will be 100 percent Catholics. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. And thank you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do have a productive Monday and a great week ahead. Gracious married women, get ready for the 31 days journey. We will journey together. It is a marriage pilgrimage. Thank you with Father CK. Santi sana. Nimeda.